Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Rule the Waves 2 German Sluggers. Picking up exactly where we left off after a short break for myself. Um, we just had the Battle of the English Channel. Uh, I think it went pretty well, even though it came out a wash on prestige since we gained one, lost one, since we lost uh, one of our pre dreads. And uh, I'm actually not going to delay at all. We're. We're going to go right back into it. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's to be expected. We need most of ours up in Northern Europe if we hope to break the blockade at all, which I might give up on and try to win in the colonies. But I can't wait too long because our unrest is going to be climbing with the blockade. Boot armor brace. Oh, thank goodness. Double torpedo mounts. That'll make our next destroyers a lot better. Italy lost a ship. Fleet battle. Battle size fleet. I will take this with that sort of matchup. Oh, of course. Mind. That's 325 victory points we desperately needed. That pays for a turn and a half of being blockaded. Raid on enemy shipping. Coastal raid. Oh, they finally accepted. How big of a coastal raid? Battle cruisers. Probably my favorite ship to use, so that's good. And our objective sink any two ships. Single heavy cruiser as a scout and destroyer screen. Okay. Head on up here and see what is out and about in the Baltic Sea. There is potentially our first victim. Come up to full speed. Going fast. Heavy cruiser. Could be an identical force to our own, but it looks like she's escorted. So, our scout will stay in contact for now. That looks like quite a bit. That's their battle fleet. We leave them on scout. I think so. She'll maintain contact better that way. Be their heavy cruiser, which is a legacy one. Not too much of a threat. We'll come around and get our two battle cruisers in contact with our opposing force. 13 inch guns. Duquesne. 12. This is a fight I think we can take even though we're outnumbered. We just have to be careful about it and keep them at range. There's our first hit on one of the Ismails. Another one. Getting some hits on that heavy cruiser. Continuing to punch into them. Going well so far. Where's the wind gauge? Alright, that shouldn't be interfering yet. Ooh, bells extended. How bad we was there for That's unfortunate. We need that speed advantage. See, yes, all four turrets are involved. That will be secondary battery hit. Airflinger being hit. And nighttime is falling. Of course. We're getting a lot more hits in on them than they are on us, though. So this is going well so far. I'm not looking forward to a close action, though. Armor is not going to play much of a role at close range. Not against 13s. 13s should be able to punch through. Alright, taking a superstructure hit. In return for getting some hits in on the Ismail. 6 inch belt, yeah. 6 inch belt and 2.5 inch deck. We'll have trouble with the deck. 
six inch belt, we should be able to get that out to 12,000 yards and we're well inside of that. That deck is difficult. We just gotta stay within uh, a reasonable range. Or right, that's not the one I want. 9,100 yards. Yeah, that's ideal. Get some more hits in on the Ismail. They're having trouble returning fire, although they're getting some hits in on our destroyers. Like they're getting a little froggy with their support destroyers. More hits on the Ismail. Alright, that G37 needs to leave. Go home. And our screening destroyers. That is. Stop screening support. That way he'll get out of the way of these ships. They're gonna tear you up. Why are you going that way? One of the Ismails appears to be going slowly. And it looks like we might have found a transport. Getting aggressive. Way. Get more hits in. Trying to close. goes one of their destroyers due to a magazine hit. I'd like to get that patrol boat, but it's not really a a major consideration. Considering my single battle cruiser is taking on four of theirs. There's the all of full nighttime. Probably disappear. Keep going, hoping that they'll continue to close. They probably change direction though. All right, take our turn. Try to collect our forces back together. Drop down to 21 knots. Where is the Durflinger at? 23. Should be able to do decent station keeping at that range. The destroyers. I will set back to screening. Heavy cruiser. Still set to scout. Perfect. All right. Just hope to find them again. All right. Here we go. Take a hard turn, going the wrong direction from what I expected. It's a light ship of some kind. Destroyer. Gonna try to get a torpedo solution on us. Oh man, that is... That was dangerous. But we got the destroyer. Keep looking. Like we might have found another. This one seems slower. Transport Corvette. Transport. Sink anything that floats outside of this port. Mall merchant is done. Don't really care about the fuel, should be sufficient for the duration of this. Engagement. Yep, more reports of fuel. Keep looking around. 
as they'll have some traffic going between ports. Even where the objective is, expect it to be between between here, actually. So I kind of want to go back and forth and nab any easy transports. I think with the timing, we won't see daytime again. It's unfortunate. I have a feeling we could have sunk at least one, possibly multiple of their battle cruisers. And as night fell, we just weren't close enough. They successfully disengaged. Medium damage to one of them. Light damage to two of ours. A minor victory. We had the advantage. We managed to sink a bunch of their small ships. That's not a loss. Here's the tail of the take if you want to see it. Let's see, where did they disengage? They were with each other. Then right when I doubled back, as nighttime fell somewhere in here, kept going, and then when it was clear they weren't going to continue closing in, took a turn, they did as well. They went back and hung out at the home port. We just happened to miss each other. Oh well, I'll go. we got a prestige for that. I don't even think that's worthy of a history card. Oh well. Our Ariadne is ready. Take a look at the. Let's take a look at the design. Yep, no changes to make. Can't afford to build it right now, though, since we're building all of those armed merchant cruisers. We need to wait for those to come off the slips. My focus continues to be on Northern Europe. I'm going to stay focused on that. I don't think we're going to be able to invade, though. France actually ended the Mediterranean, leaving it to the Russians. Might go to unrestricted. We'll wait till our submarines get out. And I do believe I'd considered canceling the submarine building program. Just building medium. We'll leave it for now though. The coastals will do fine in the the northern European area. That's where you're gonna find a lot of it anyway. Okay, nothing to change then. Shipbuilding, rebellion, and a hum. Three fleets. Nope, we'll continue on. 2% weight saving on armor. They're finally getting something for their trade, trade war. Single merchant, not much. Large raid. Russians decline. Medium cruiser battle. I think that'll go well for us. Two heavy cruisers. And there we go. We have the cruisers without escorts against what I assume are light cruisers with destroyer escorts. Much like the last time, it's twilight. We will not have daylight for long. If this turns into a night engagement, I am not sticking. As the French just have way too many destroyers, I can't afford to be at point blank range with heavy cru unescorted heavy cruisers. It's just not worth it. <clears throat> Try to get close enough to this destroyer. And nighttime. Not really interested in pursuing this too much further. 
we'll go over to the French coast. We don't have a ton of time, but that we'll be able to make it. So if we run into a transport out here or some sort of Corvette, we'll see if we can't sink something like that. That and with luck, one of those shells did enough damage to break a bulkhead on one of those destroyers and they sank. Which is exactly what happened. So still a victory. Two secondary hits into a French destroyer and it sank. Let's see what all they actually had. Yeah, that was a lot of heavy cruisers. We don't get to design those. We now make airship bases. We need to wait till we have some spare funds for that, though. But if we were to have any, where would they be most useful? Ebow is. Russian. Wow is probably also. Nope. Wow is ours. So we can build an airship base in East Prussia. Wow build cost. Actually, it's negligible. Then let's build another one in Germany at Wilhelm Schaffen. Oh, actually, maybe we should have done Emden. Yeah, let's switch that to Emden. Cancel Wilhelm Shopping. And maybe do another one. Swine Monday. Now give us something to work with. And there's our AMCs coming off the slips. Army wants uh, that's gonna hurt. Still, we'll encourage it. We need all the victory points we can get. And anything we uh, start to build now is unlikely to be finished except for conversions, archery conversions. Another medium cruiser battle. It's outnumbered like that again. That's might be a little bit intense. But I'll still take it. Uh, early, so we have all day to get this one done. Visibility is good, so we should see each other. That we didn't. Oh, there we go. Bring it up. Those will be their scouts, their escorts, and then a line of six heavy cruisers, much like last time. It's the same exact battle we just did, except it's morning. How are their decks looking? Two inches, five inch belt. Much better than ours on every possible way. Need to get into 7,000 yards. <clears throat> Meanwhile, they have some heavy batteries.
Yeah, those secondary batteries chew us up. Get too close. Definitely. I'd like to fight off their escorts. Those are easy ones, but we will close in. We'll see what we can do. Up. Oh, 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 okay. That's unfortunate. That puts us in clear. Clearly outnumbered. Very badly. And I, I don't. Well, we do are faster. I don't think this looks well for the Hella, but should be able to make it out. All right. One of them, will Charler, Garner, bouncing shots, likely due to the good angle. Hunters perforate F uptakes, now they can actually catch us. That's why I said it didn't look good for the Hella. Got another one, looks like she might be on fire. Looks like a lot more smoke than before. Eh, nah. Getting another hit. Burning fire with 4 inch, which I'm not expecting one. 4 and a half hit, not too significant. Heavy hit to the Admiral Sharner. Our hope is to do the same thing to them. Perforate their uptakes or salt water intrusion into their, their steam system. Something to slow them down. Those heavy hits are good. Air battery hit. Belt extended. Light hit to them. Medium gun into ours, but no big. Nothing significant. Secondary battery hit to effect. Air miss. Another heavy hit into the Sharner. Penetrating hit into our superstructure. Losing speed. The number of penetrations. That just shows how what I was saying before in the previous episode where these these cruisers are definitely getting long in the tooth. We'll hit some of the Admiral Sharner. Another one. Another one. I would try to turn, threaten them with a torpedo, and hope that they turn away, giving us a little bit of breathing room. That puts us in a vulnerable position, though. Let's see, this is uh, batteries, four inch. There's this, it has multiple vet. And Helgoland is where I was headed initially, and we'll continue to do so. Another heavy hit to them. And Admiral Sharner fell out of position. Taking some more hits. No improvement on our own speed. Now we've got a fire on board. Fire's out already? Taking more gunfire, turning away. Possibly trying to get a better angle. Definitely taking a lot of fire right now. But they just slowed themselves down significantly. They'll make up for that here in a little bit, ah, especially if going even slower. Pounding away at the Duplu. Getting some decent heavies. Heavy gunfire into her. 
light and medium hits I'm kind of ignoring. Except for the ones that get a decent hit on us. Ugh. Another heavy into them. Chances look pretty slim still. Especially with these destroyers doing an end run. That light cruiser. We're actually running low on ammo now. How's our aft ammo? That's the almost out. That is very bad. Hopefully that means they're running out of heavy ammo as well though. First limited. A little bit of flooding. Maintaining speed. We do have a lot of secondary rounds left. We just continue to exchange fire unevenly. Like if I tried to stand up and fight, this would have gone very badly. As they were penetrated with a lot of these. And you see a lot of them, they're they're missing that asterisk. That means they didn't penetrate. It can still do damage, but it doesn't penetrate, which is very good. And now we're with a range of land batteries. Yes. That gets them out. That puts an end to that. So we saved one of our heavy cruisers. So with a name like Veneta, that might have been Italian. Did not check. One of our Corvettes engaging. We'll probably lose it. I'll continue to do that to the rest of our coastal forces, but with night falling, that should put an end to it. Very unfortunate result. Actually, we lost one of our destroyers, not our, our Corvettes. Major victory for them. I won't deny it, that went poorly. Did get moderate damage, causing the Admiral Sharner to turn away. And the cleaver. That was the duplu. But that doesn't count for too much. No oh, loss of one. All right. And we had a couple ships come off the slips, but we kind of need to wait another turn before we look at doing more. Our lines. All right. My airship's involved. More AMCs finishing. Getting another battlecruiser effective now that she's finished working up. And sank an enemy submarine and protected our trade. Effectively. Oh, thank you, Italy. Destroyer action. This ought to be interesting. Especially since we're probably both using antiquated destroyers. Did build those new ones, but we're kind of behind since we're not focused on light forces. I do not want to engage a land battery, thank you. And I, I don't really feel like it benefits us to have a screen. Be either core or just support. Let's do support. Okay, an actual ship. This is good. Turn in. Guessing the speed. No, I was going to guess a Corvette, but it's a transport.
get our hits in, and she's done. Crew abandon ship. I'm going to say we're going to have merchant traffic in around, in throughout this bay. We'll get in close to Riga, see how that works out. Get a few survivors. And use our daylight as best we can, or as little as it lasts. Yep, there you go. For this, I think I'll head up through the... Oh, never mind. It's already over. Yep. Counts as a victory for them, because they have a surviving... Merchant had just one more. Now we're all over there. I wouldn't have gone that direction. I was going to go up here because it was dark. Need to wait for these to finish and we'll barely be in the black. the seas around Libya. The docks completed. Our other airbase. Lost one of our destroyers. They lost two subs though. Enemy coastal raid. Unavoidable. We have... Two pretty dreadnoughts, not ideal. Three heavy cruisers. Four division. Four heavy cruisers, because we have one scouting. Almost much prefer if this one were to fall back. Screen or core, where this one moves forward and scouts, because it has three three heavy cruisers they can scout out in a fan front. There they go. Southeast, so they're expecting them somewhere down there. There's one of our airships doing their duty, getting us updates. Yeah, that is really handy, actually. Having airships to scout. <clears throat> Light cruiser. Get close to the true day class. Yeah, that's that's a non factor. Starting to scout the primary formation. Which of course has one of their dreadnoughts. Which against our pre dreads. It's gonna get ugly again. I will not quail though. Put these guys into a four formation. Yeah, I'll keep them as a screen still. Yeah, they outnumber our capital ships by a significant margin. <clears throat> this is much like the last fleet battle we did. I'm up to max since we're starting to receive fire from the long range 15 inch guns. Yep, and indeed it is a Beauvais class. In addition, we have some Colbers. Not too bad. Not concerned about the Sullies. Charles Martels, even less of a threat. 
Not too bad. Not an even fight, but it's the fight we have. We'll pass by each other. Try to give him not too good an angle. Would like to get... There's a hit on the Charles Martel. Or one of them. Decent hit in the fore and aft. All guns engaged, full broadside. Ahella, who survived the Great Retreat, back in action, and on fire already. And I think I'm going to cut back and go the other way. Continue to close to have a decent angle. I'll get more effective armor. Of course, they're going to cut as well. Head back around. Bouncing a couple. This is just tearing up their larger formation. Cutting back and forth and they're trying to match that to get into a broadside engagement. And their formation is just getting... It's in tatters now. As a disadvantage of having a larger force, having been on the receiving side of this, Anza taking significant fire. One is the Han. Not too bad yet. I'll pull away. We'll see if they chase. Getting some good hits in on one of the Charles Martels. Okay, the Hansa is in very bad shape now. Well, not too bad. But she's got salt water in the feet. Dang, she's going to be very slow. If I could detach her, I very much would right now. Kind of worried our heavy cruiser is going to get chewed up. Going to be at the turn part of the formation. More broadside the enemy and vulnerable to gunfire. We're gonna lose some heavy group. And her rudder is jammed straight. See Hansa detach now. Left of you, please change to independent act. Same with the rune. We don't need you guys involved in this fight. Not until their destroyers start getting more aggressive. See that Charles Martel is starting to fall back. It says she's taking heavy damage. Not sure about that. But she has been frequent flyer on our 9 inch hits. Our 10 inch, too. And. 11? Yeah, 11. Sorry, 9 and 11, not 10. We don't have very good 10s. Hans is done for. Got a torpedo on. Not that it's going to hit anything. Like very much for the ice now to heal off. Taking enough fire. Gonna turn about, risk some broadside hits. Cut in. We're bouncing most of it. That's good news. More hits on one of the other Charles Martels. They have now turned around. Critical hit to the Zeringan. Stuck doing loops now. Where are the destroyers that are supposed to be protecting the battleship? I 
wandering around up there. Spock taking a penetrating hit. Hansa announcing something. If we can't screen their retreat. Ringing taking another one. Now the mess of all their escorts. We'll turn away to port before they get a decent torpedo solution. We can't drag their escorts up and take one or two of them out. Our bomb class taking a little bit, a little bit more. Riddlesbach now the lead ship for our battleship division. And we're getting involved in that Beauvais. Not really interested in fighting her. Not unless night falls, which is a long time away. Got a hit on the Sully. Near miss on the Knights now. Hit on the Beauvais. Luckily they have their Charles Martels in there and that slows down their whole formation. So we can kind of stay ahead of it. Not as easily as we could before, we've lost some speed ourselves. It's a ring and fallen out of line. Her situation. Just fell out of line. And Catches because of heavy flooding. Okay, if you say so. Hit on the Charles Martel. I have to have a uh, little chat with the Zeringans captain after this fight. I know this is scary, but superior German engineering. We'll, we will take the day. More hits on that Sully class. Our destroyers finally caught up. Let's see. Maybe we can get them to dive through these minefields. We should be able to hit at least one of their ships. Another heavy hit on uh, Sully. Nice now taking another hit. They're not even close anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. And I can't really detach her at this point. She's going to be going slow, she's going to take more hits. Luckily, their the battle line's turning south now. And more hits on that Sully. Gotta be starting to feel it by now. Actually, the battle line's turning east now. Can I drag them down here? I'm separating out our Zeringan, though. And they can chase her down. Oh, guys, you don't need to be launching torpedoes now. You're just gonna scare them away from the minefield. And it's a good choice, though. It's getting them to pull away from the Zeringan. Razog. Uh, my pronunciation is not the best. Another long battle. It's gonna be a couple long episodes. Unless I separate them out. Which I might do, but release two on each of those days. So it's still one long episode, but split up. Since the battles are long enough. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're getting the heart of their fleet to go through. Our poor destroyer valiantly trying to cover the retreat for the Zarina. Which is not in bad shape. Might lose one of our land-based gun batteries. <clears throat> right, let's turn around. Running low on ammo at this point. I can't say we've accomplished much. Bringing and reattaching. Oh, I can't go that slow. That is unacceptable. Their stars are gonna close in. We'll either take them down or they'll peel away, and we can squeeze in here and try to drag them across these minefields again. Yep. Their stars are gonna pursue. Get in the way at least. Let's see if we can. Skirt on. Now that's going to be dangerous. These guys are northbound. Both Bach rudder damage. What kind of rudder damage are we getting? Oh, very bad. Straight. We're going to take a torpedo. We're going to lose Little's Bach. Very dangerous situation. Oh, this is very bad. Ring and run low on ammo at this point. Rosbach actually taking hits from heavy guns now. Penetrating hits, losing speed. Now we're getting some of our own licks in, but this does not look good. Surprised we haven't taken a torpedo yet. Please repair the run. Oh, this gets worse every sec, every minute. On here, they're making an attack run. We are watching the last moments of the Widow's Bach. Oh my goodness, how should she not been hit by a torpedo? They're point point range. What oh, wait, how? <clears throat> there it is. And detach them, but I have no idea where the Zeringan will go. Detached. She's smart, she'll go east over this way. And then back down. She goes direct to port. She's done for. And is rudder gonna be repaired? Oh, this ballista is gonna fire torpedoes. Bad is it? 151? That's survivable. Whittlesbach rudder repaired. Thank goodness. It's Belize Day. Still a threat. Going very slow. Don't think we can make it to an alternate port. I don't think the Whittles box is going to make it. They may get both of these pre dreadnought. What you get for being aggressive? <clears throat> Makes it look like it's going to go poorly for the war. Might try to push things down into. give up Northern Europe now and push down into the convoys. Or, sorry, not the convoys. The colonies. Oh, we got a torpedo off. He maneuvered, though. Going slow from damage? Hmm. Not enough from the looks of it. Um, push things into the colonies. Get out of Northern Europe and hope for a white piece. Not gonna expect it. 
we'll probably lose something in one of the colonies. Probably somewhere in Europe, and they'll probably take one of the ones we've really built up for a good base of operations. Seem to be uh, standing off, though. We might be able to make it to port. Zeringen is looking very poor at this point. Mostly under control. Whittlesbach is a hulk with an engine room. I'm absolutely stunned that she didn't get hit by torpedoes. And we'll bring our heavy cruisers back. Damaged though they may be. Or two. Cruiser Division 11, Core 2, Battle Division 8. Alright, let's see if we can make it to port. Middlesbach without significant flooding damage. Well, she is. But not like the Zeringen. The Zeringen is at risk of having a... A, um... Bulkhead burst. Alright, can close in. Bring in's coming down as well. Might try to force her course. Nope. Okay. Hopefully she'll make it to Emden. Why is she turning around? Where is she going? Yes. 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 Yes to all. I get control of the Zeringen. Bring her down. Oh, she's going to sink. A flooding. She's just got probably what is permanent flooding. Yep, and we lose her. It was just too much flooding. Torpedoes against these legacy ships are pretty, pretty gnarly. Ah, he's headed back to port. French are blowing up something. Forty-eight. Get you into Emden. And we'll just run out the clock at this. Airships doing their thing. And we're done. Lost one, one pre-dread and one destroyer. No losses on their side. Heavy damage to a few, but... We'll get the tail of the take. And we'll wrap it up to a close. Lose one prestige. I'll go and bite. Two prestige. And that's that. We'll reorganize things next time around. Try to start pushing out into the colonies and try to accomplish something out there. Possibly a significant presence in the Mediterranean since that's an easy quick trip. We'll see. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed it even though it was a bitter pill to swallow. You may disagree that it was a little too aggressive, but you gotta be when you're fighting two opponents at the same time with the same home region. And we, we had to risk it to try it. We still technically have the victory point advantage, but it looks pretty ugly. And with that, um, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment, and I will see you next time.